Eric with Carefree Boat Club. Today, I'll be covering our 2023 Beneteau Antares 7 and some of its unique and distinguishing features. We'll start here at the front of the boat. First things first, anchor locker. Simple finger latch, open up. This is a power windlass, meaning you do not need to raise and lower the anchor or chain by hand. This has a remote control there. As you'll see, there's a chain and road setup. There's the power motor. Here is the safety chain, which you should always have attached to the anchor when you are operating the boat but not utilizing the anchor. Please feel free to watch one of our detailed videos on how to use that windlass. Step around the side of the boat. On this particular boat, the fishing model has some nice additions. This one's got a couple crossbars on the roof there. Throw a kayak up, something like that. Has some nice rod holders as well. Great addition to these boats now is the addition of this step-through door on the rear side hole here. Uh, makes entry and egress uh, quite a bit easier and quite a bit safer as well. Nice to be able to just step through. This door simply opens and shuts. And then you have your rear door that can cover the back as well. Uh, you have a wash down here. Same as we had in the boats in the past. Pulls out kind of like a kitchen sprayer. There's a switch on the helm to operate such. On the other side, we do have a little live well here. If you open up this compartment, gives you a little knob here to control the flow of the water. The water that the boat sits in is what it will pump into there. We have this raising up uh, cutting board slash storage area now. This needs to be raised up before you raise the engine. Otherwise, you'll scratch the top of the engine. So please make sure if you need to raise the engine, pull that up first. We have benches on the back and on the side. One great addition on this boat as well is the addition of shore power plug. As you can see, there's the shore power plug. That allows you to not only keep things charged, but also gives you the ability to have 110 outlets like you will see just here below behind the kitchen. Uh, this will work when you're plugged into shore power, then you'll have 110 power. Stepping through the rear door, pretty similar to what we had before. Coming to the cabin, you'll see a couple changes here. We've got the nice black background for that helm. Notice a slightly different table design there. You see it folds up now, allows you to have a bigger table or smaller, depending on what you'd like. The standard sunroof that we had before. Uh, this one is pretty straightforward. Allows you to release this bar, slide it back either to here or all the way back. It give you the ability to get some uh, nice fresh air, if you will, through there, as well as a sunshade from the front or a bug shade from the rear. Now you'll notice right away, this bench is a little bit different. We have a hand control here that releases it, allows us to change the angle of the back. And that also goes hand in hand with the ability to slide the seat forward. Now to do so, we need to release this lever right here. That'll release the sidebars from the side, as you will see, and allows you to then move the seat in this manner so that you now have the seat facing towards the table. This table flap can open up. These little bars here, you'll need to slide both of those out. Pretty straightforward. And those will support and hold the weight of the table. One nice addition onto this flyer, or excuse me, this Antares 7 now, is the addition of the diesel Wobasto heater. Please again, watch our detailed videos on how to use those Wobasto heaters, but pretty straightforward and simple. You push the button, it turns green, you set the temperature and you have heat and in a matter of minutes there it'll fire up and get you nice and toasty uh, important to understand and note that when you do bring the boat into a marina if you still have the heat running you don't just turn the power shut off off uh, on the breakers for the boat you need to run this the uh, cool down cycle on this heater which simply consists of pushing the power button again it'll turn white and it'll run about two to three minute cycle where it powers down that heater you'll know it's done when you hear the blower motor stop operating this fuel gauge here is for the diesel which is for this heater, this heater, excuse me. And this diesel, had, <laughs> this diesel heater has a fill up on the starboard side walkway. You'll notice it, it's the same style as you'll notice for the water cap. Although you'll notice that it has a red ring, as you'll see up there, versus the blue ring for the fresh water. The one in the middle is for your wastewater pickup. Now I'll bring up here to the helm, pretty straightforward. Same general uh, gist of controls. It's got a push button release here for neutral, forward into rear. You have some additional features that you can mess with, an active trim, which will allow you to set trim settings that can automatically adjust, uh, a throttle only option, of course, if you needed to rev the engine or warm the engine up for some reason, um, a start stop, button, start stop button here for the engine, but you can also simply turn the key, and of course your keel lanyard. Uh, one nice feature that this boat also has is uh, you've got the, the radio here, uh, and you've got a bow thruster as well, which is a nice addition to the 7. Uh, again, watch our detailed videos on the bow thruster operation. General gist of it is to turn it on. You'll push these two buttons here until they light up with the key on. Two buttons here until they light up. You hear a click at the front, and now you have a bow thruster to move the front of the boat side to side. To the port, to the starboard. This is not 
a device that is designed to park a boat for you, but it's certainly a great addition to your skills behind the helm using the engine to have that extra little hand to give you that rotation without the aspect of forward and rear motion. Garmin screen, standard fuel gauge, standard mercury information center tachometer. You can scroll through and find different items such as exactly how much fuel you're using per hour. Looking to the dash here, this is your three-way position for your boat lights. Lightning bolt switch, as is the case on most all Antares boats, powers up the dash should we turn this off. You'll see we lose dash power, fuel gauge, and the Garmin. Horn, manual bilge pump, two sync operations here. One will be for the sync just behind the driver's helm, and the other will be to operate and power up that kind of kitchen sprayer on the rear deck that I was showing earlier. Two windshield wiper controls, left and right, and then a, a windshield washer sprayer as well. Stepping out the front, got great uh, sleeping space here. Redesigned a little bit to give you a little bit more sideways position to come in. Some of these cushions can come out. You can pop these two out, give you a nice little seating space. Allows you the option to get some more people in there should you need to sit around. Uh, this also offers some nice storage underneath. Should you want to pop these cushions up here, there is a wood piece underneath here that's attached with two little latches. You can pop that up, remove this entirely, and you have a nice storage space under there. We have a table stored under there right now, some cushions, etc. And of course, we have the head. You have the freshwater sink there. Uh, we, of course, winterize those in the win in the winter. You've got the head there with the, the wag bag. Uh, light controls, a simple tap button on that light right, right there will adjust the dim settings as well as shut them off. You've got that throughout the boat, both on the inside of the cabin and at the rear, underneath the rear awning. Curtains around, straps, remove them, can take them down the side. There's also some button-in curtains that can cover all the glass. So should you be staying in here for an evening, you can get yourself some nice privacy. Of course, shut the sunshade. Uh, this table also can drop down and this will create one solid berth position right here. Uh, there's cushions underneath that allow you to fill in that spot right there. We've got the, uh, the fridge here, refrigerator. This of course is a 12 and 20 and 110 volt system. So when you're underway, you do have fridge operation there as well. Through the seat, of course the bolster that can come back, leaning it or bring it down. Give it a little more space if you're actually sitting on the seat. And then last but not least is your shore power switches here. Oh, excuse me, your battery switch is here. You'll see we've got the engine battery switch, house battery switch, and we also have a ground switch as well. Uh, here at Carefree, of course, we always take care of these battery switches for you so you don't need to operate them when you get here. But uh, should you ever find yourself out on an overnight and you don't have shore power, and you wanna make sure you're preserving that battery life, certainly feel free to turn those switches off and you'll make sure that you're not drawing anything from the battery. So Eric from Carefree Boat Club, it's been a pleasure. This is our Antares 7. Look forward to seeing you on the water.